glory, hallelujah. Today is a day that the Lord has made, and I'm so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is a day for every last one of you to continue to seek Him in this kingdom. Today is a day for every last one of you to continue to put your faith and trust in Him. Today is the day that you need to give Him the praise and you need to give Him the glory. Today is the day if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, my brothers and my sisters, today is the day I want to encourage every last one of you. Please build a personal relationship with Jesus. That's the only thing that he's asking out of every last one of us. To build a personal, a personal relationship with him. Please do that. That would be the best thing that you can ever do in your life. Build a commitment with him. And once you build that relationship with him, that you, then when you commit it to him, he's going to commit himself to you. Because our God is faithful. Our God is loving. Our God is amazing. Our God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes. Like some of us, we might change. We might go up and down. But our God, he stays the same. He stays the same. And his love endures forever. And I just want to encourage y'all, man. Trust me. Building a relationship with Jesus will be the best thing that you've ever done in your life. Just don't take my word for it. Try it out. I guarantee you, it will be the best thing that you will ever do in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm so excited to be in the presence of the Lord, to always thank Him, to always glorify Him, to always seek Him in His kingdom each and every day. No matter what I go through, no matter what I'm facing, I'm always going to seek Him. I'm always going to praise Him. I'm always going to glorify Him because I know my God is that awesome. I know He's that merciful, and I know that He's that loving. I know he is. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I thank him the way that I do. Amen. Amen. And today I have a word in my spirit today that I want to share with my brothers and my sisters today. And we're going to be reading from the book of Acts chapter 9. And we're going to read verses 15 through 19. That's Acts 9 verses 15 through 19. And today's message is you are chosen as an instrument. God has called somebody and has chosen somebody as an instrument. That's why some of y'all right now is going through a lot of pain. That's why some of y'all right now are going through a lot of suffering because he has called you to do some scientific work. And the work that God wants you to do, first you got to go through the pain and the suffering. <clears throat> and that's why most of y'all right now are going through a lot of pain and suffering. It's the reason why you're going through what you're going through. You was chosen. You was chosen by God to do something. And when you chosen by God to do something, it's the best thing. Amen? Amen. Glory, hallelujah. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the things, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank enough for our strength today. I can't thank enough for our health today. I can't thank enough that we're able to get on our knees today, to serve you today, to pray you today, to hear this word and this message today that's coming from you today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank enough for your grace and your mercy, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank enough for the food. That you put on that table. I just can't thank you enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on that back. I just can't thank you enough how you providing that you making a way for us right now. Even though we don't see things happen right now, but we know that you still working for us. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus, that I can always come to you. I just can't thank you enough that I can always count on you. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough that you're the same every day. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank you enough for your faithfulness. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I'm always going to praise you. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to seek you. Because I just can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Acts 9. And we're going to read verses 15 through 19. And if you have your Bibles open, and ready to receive it. Shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. 
verse 15. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. <clears throat> I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it, placing his hands on Saul, and he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you might see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. He got up, and he was baptized. And after taking some food, he gained his strength. Wow. Right now, somebody's going through the same thing right now. And the reason why Saul had to go through that, Saul was persecuting God's people. Saul was doing devious things. So God called his name, Saul, Saul, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing my people like this? Why are you treat my people like this? See, but God has spoke to somebody. He said, you know, you're going to see a man named Saul. He said, Saul going to have to suffer. Saul going to have to go through some pain. Saul going to have to go through something that's going to make him feel so uncomfortable. Saul going to have to go through something that he's not going to like it. But I know it's hard. I know that this man really want to change. So I'm going to I'm asking you to send him to me. So when he did it, what the word of God said, Saul going to have to suffer because of his name. Because God has called Saul to be his chosen instrument to go out to preach his word to the Gentiles and to all of Israel. Saul going to be the one who's going to be preaching the word of God, who's going to share the gospel. But Saul had to go through some pain. Paul, Saul had to go through some suffering. And the reason why I can relate to this, to this message right here, I was just like Saul at one point in time. I was just like Saul at one point in time. I was persecuting God's people by selling them poison. Being selfish, I didn't care nothing about nobody but me at one time. That's all I thought about myself and how I was going to make the money. I didn't care was the person who spent their last, their last dollar. I didn't care nothing about that. So I had to go through some pain. I had to go through some suffering. God called me and told me to be his instrument. He said, LT, you're going to do, my, you're going to do some work for me. But you're going to have to go through some pain. You're going to have to go through some suffering. At one time, I was just like, so I couldn't see. I was so blind. I was so blind, I couldn't see. The only thing I was seeing was darkness. It was darkness all around me. Everywhere I went, it was darkness. To God laid his hands on me. When God laid his hands on my eyes, it's like the word of God said, fish scales came off. When the fish scales came off, I was baptized and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. When I got filled with the Holy Spirit, I have received so much strength in me that I didn't even know that I was that strong because I was called and chosen as an instrument. And some of y'all are going through that right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but somebody right now is going through the same thing that Saul went through Somebody right now is going through the same thing as Minister LT went through, and God has chosen you as an instrument. You are His chosen one, and that's why you are suffering the way that you are suffering. You're not suffering because you're suffering. You are suffering because God has called you to do something. I don't know who it is. God has a has a an assignment for somebody right now today, and that assignment that He have you in that you about to come into. You're going to go through some pain. You're going to go through some suffering. And right now, you can't see it because you're blind right now. In the same way, when God, when Jesus spoke to Ananias, he said, put your hands 
on song on song eyes so we can see again that what God is doing to you. Right now, some of y'all been walking in darkness for for quite some time. Only thing that y'all been seeing for quite some time is darkness. I know. I've been there. Saul's been there. I know what it looked like and feel like to walk in darkness. That's all you see is dark. You don't see light at all. I know to feel like that not to have not to have strength. To always feel like that you strong, but really that you weak. I know what it felt like. Saul knew what it felt like. Because he didn't have strength. He was weak. Look what the scripture says. Say Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, he sent me. So Jesus right now sent you a messenger right now. That you might see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus called you to do something, he always sent you a messenger. He always going to send you a messenger. That messenger going to repeat everything that Jesus wants you to know. And I'm going to tell you how. Before I even moved to Georgia, I was in this church one Sunday. And the pastor's wife, she had prophesied about me. told me everything what Jesus wanted me to hear. At that time, I still didn't want to hear. Just like Saul, I still didn't want to hear. I was still blind to the fact. I was still blind to the matter. Still blind. The only thing I still want to do was smoke marijuana and sell my drugs. It's the only thing I want to do. But six years later, when God removed me, mm, 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 it's right giving me chills right now. When God removed me from Charlotte, North Carolina, and he brought me to Georgia, it wasn't even less than three weeks I started this job. Jesus had sent me a messenger. And this messenger, his name was Scott. And when Scott started talking, Scott was saying the same thing what I heard six years before. There's no way that Scott knew that lady. There's no way that that lady knew Scott. But Scott repeated everything that that lady had said in that church. Right then and now, I knew then that Jesus had sent me a messenger. I knew right then and there that Jesus had chosen me as an instrument. See, I forgot, but Jesus didn't forget what he, what the work that he wanted me to do. And see, that's how, that's how it goes. Sometimes that we might forget as we see Jesus appear in certain things. See, some of y'all think when you when you when you expect to see Jesus that Jesus is gonna be in a white robe. Jesus can be can be formed in anything. Jesus can be formed in anything. You always, He's not always going to be in a white robe. Jesus can use anything. So he used this lady to prophesy and told me what he expected out of me. Like I said, I was blind. But six years later, that same thing that lady said, Jesus sent me another messenger. He said, my son didn't get it the first time. He was blind. Now I want you to repeat the same thing to him. So when he said it, I said, man, I heard that before. So everything he was saying, it was just pretty much just gave me proven facts that Jesus had chosen me as an instrument, that Jesus wanted me to do his work, that Jesus wanted me to do his will. Then I got filled with the Holy Spirit. Once I got filled with the Holy Spirit, I haven't been the same since 2011. I got stronger, I got wiser, and I got better. That's the same thing what happened to Saul. Saul got better. Saul got wiser. And Saul wasn't Saul no more. Saul became Paul. And right now, some of y'all are going through that. And I had to go through the pain. I had to go through the suffering because of his name. And the word of God says it right here. He said, this man is my chosen instrument. When Jesus chooses you to do something, best believe it's something good. When Jesus calls you to do something, it's something good. So he chose Saul. As an instrument. He, he chose me as an instrument. He choosing some of y'all right now. As an instrument. So y'all can do his will. And so y'all can do his work. Amen. Amen. Then he said I will show him. How much. Suffer. For my name. And Jesus showed me how much I was going to suffer. And I'm still suffering. No matter what. I'm still suffering because of his name. But I'm still he still chose me, and I'm thankful 
that he chose me as his instrument. I'm thankful that I can still go through this pain. I'm still thankful that I can still go through this suffering because he's chose me. He could have chose anybody. He could have chose anybody, but he chose LT. And I'm still thankful, thankful that I go through this pain. I'm still thankful that I go through this suffering because of his name. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to choose me. He didn't have to send me a messenger again to tell me again what he wanted me to do. He could have left everything and said, you know what? This guy, he's hard here. He don't want to listen. I told him one time what I want him to do, but he didn't want to listen. But he said, no. I had to tell him again. Mm -mm -mm. He told me again. I have forgot. Six years prior to that, I have forgot. But going six years forward, he sent, he sent me another messenger to remind me again what he has chose me to do, what he wanted me to do, what he expected out of LT. Man, you ain't going to tell me our God is not awesome. Our God is awesome and our God is faithful. And right now, he is calling you as an instrument. He, you are chosen today, my brothers. You are chosen today, my sisters, as an instrument. If you're chosen, you're going to go through some pain. You're going to go through some suffering. But you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You're going to be stronger, better, and wiser than ever. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this word and this message today is clearly for someone today. And if it is today, let's give him the thanks. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the glory. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is Withers by LT. I love y'all. You always keep Jesus first place in your life. Amen.